Oh, I should read this, actually. Gotta know the story! Maximal Chief Engineer Rhinox has expanded his heavily fortified base to within easy reach of Tarantula's lair. Invade and neutralize this threat. I guess I'll just... do... Is it Scorpinox? Is it Scorpinox or is it Inferno? Inferno. I'm pretty sure it's Inferno is the good one. I'm... I'm only pretty sure it's Inferno is the good one. Hold on a second. I, um... I should check on that. No. No, it's totally Scorponok. No, wait, that's just robot mode. No, it is Inferno. I was right. Okay. Yeah, Inferno's the good one. Yo, Golf. I mean, I have noise cancelling turned off right now since my air conditioner isn't on, but... It's just a matter of hitting a button to turn it back on. Well, I mean, there were specific stats I was looking at. Is it just... Yeah, you just tap the button and it resets. Okay. Uh, in particular, Inferno jumps higher than the rest of them. Like, significantly higher. So if I'm eventually going to learn the speedrun, then... I should probably get used to the character that is good for the speedrun. That said, I am also... Oh my god, that strafe speed feels so slow. Hold on, is strafe speed one of the stats that I... I checked? Yeah, and he totally is slower than the other ones. I knew it. <laughs> it doesn't matter much. It just... I don't know. I think it's funny. What does this button do? Something. It does something. How are you, Golf? How's your weekend? How was... How was the golfing with the Lucas? I guess it turned off that electric fence. Goodness. These things are big. Did I auto lock on something here? Yeah, that's what it was. Golfing with Lucas was amazing. Good. Glad to hear that. Ooh. Does this go somewhere I can ride? It goes somewhere. By Stuart Copeland Yoshimp. This, uh. Ah. This goes somewhere. Where are we going? Oh my god. What is this? <laughs> Thank you for the GL. Does the game have any. Can you not hear it? Yeah, they, there's currently music. Here. Very quiet compared to the rest of the game. I, I guess it is. I don't know. It's a good volume for me, but maybe that is... I see, and then it just throws me down here. Um, maybe it's just not as clear when it... Uh, you know, the whole thing is quieter.
How are you doing, Shim? Gosh, I feel like there was something I wanted to say to you, but I can't remember what it is. Something where I was like, oh, I want to tell Shemp about this, and no idea. I don't know, maybe it'll come to me. Maybe it won't. Usually doesn't. You know what? I think that was it. Are you here for the grain? That's gotta be it. I can't... Now that you say that, I can't imagine what else I might have wanted to ask. Nothing else makes sense. Huh. Ooh, no. Get back. <laughs> Good. God, Scrat, it's gonna be nice. Heck yeah. I got some mildly disappointing credit skip related news. I, uh, I finished timing out my loads last night. Loads and credit skip time loss. And as it turns out, both of the numbers I had in mind for my time loss were overestimates. I thought I was losing... What I had always heard was credit skip saves about three minutes. And it turns out it saves 250, about. Um, I don't know why I just transformed back. I still want to be in beast mode. Uh, it only saves about 250. So that was, you know, slightly less than I had thought. But then also... Um, loads. I thought I was losing, like two to two and a half minutes, I didn't really have a great number for it, and it turns out I was only losing about 90 seconds. Apparently, after Artisan's dragon loads, just for the rest of the game, are negligibly different. There were a lot of dragons where I was beating Deo on the loads. Which, I mean, that... that could be related to, you know, a bunch of things. Um, Exact position, mash timing. I wasn't doing a super precise time difference with those. I was just going from dragon pedestal lighting up to, uh... I do! I do still suck at 120. I mean, I, I recognize it's silly to be too upset about this, because sub-130 PS1 CS list is still a crazy accomplishment regardless, but... I'm like 40 seconds worse than I thought. But on the other hand, my PB still had a bunch of problems. I, I lost like 40 seconds to my best segs across Dreamweavers, so like... Meatball! <laughs> it does sound like that. You know, I, I've got time save all, all over the place regardless. Where did that scorpion just go? It just dove into the river. There it is. Yeah, my Energon isn't doing great. Okay, that health is nice, but my Energon really isn't doing great. Got this run, yes. But I mean, also, I'm trying to keep in mind, like, part of the reason I did this was because we... Like, nobody really does PS1. It's good to have more data points for, uh... For how loads are affected by console. 
even if the results are making me kind of sad. I like Virtual's content. I, I'm still watching a lot of his videos during my lunch breaks. Good YouTuber. There's no reason for me to be jumping at this. I'm just, I don't know. Practicing, I guess. I think in the speedrun there are some walls like this that I would want to get up. This might be slightly taller than them, though. Eh. There we go. Now my Energon's doing better. Enemies are ever gonna spawn or anything. Here's some. Somewhere. Yeah. Yo, Jay Z. I've been good. I've been really good. I hit my long, long time goal in Spyro, and I'm happy to go back to playing other goofy games. are you doing? I don't want to jump down there and die fall damage. Uh, my goal was in 120% finish in under an hour and 30 minutes on a PS1 and without doing any kind of credit skip. And I did it. I got a 129.55. And I really want to take out those, but they're just moving away from me. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's better. <laughs> I can't unhear Meatball now. Thanks, Shemp. <laughs> so that's how I got up here, right? Is there a ramp to get back? Well, I can probably just do it this way, honestly, but... No, there's gotta be... There's gotta be another way back up. Gotta be a something somewhere. Oh, right here, right. Nope, not right here. Never mind. No. Something somewhere. Lamau a bug. Yashan. Is that I go up here, maybe, and then I jump over? That's a pretty far jump. I don't feel like that would be intended, but. Like, the fact that I only barely made that as Inferno, the character with the furthest jump... That feels... that feels like I missed something. <laughs> Yo, Raven? It is a pretty fun game. You should try it out sometime. Raven, full game runs when? Oh 
But you know, that's a stat that I never thought to look at is... You get your weapon upgraded, right? How much damage am I doing now? Speedrunning other games right now? That's fair. I understand. <laughs> that's the reason I haven't done this until now, so... I... I'm not one to judge. Oh, come on, surely you can get up here. Yeah. I see, and then this is the rest of this path if I hadn't gone off the sideway. Okay. Yeah, I, just, I still haven't played the Predacon campaign at all, so I'm just walking around, jumping around. All I have seen of it is Isles and Eilis's marathon runs. And not being able to climb walls, seriously. See, I'm just running around, getting a feel for the character, remembering how the game works. I want to shoot something once and see how much my score goes up by, because that's how much damage I'm doing. 21780 to 22140. Hold on. 360? And what did I have as the damage value for Inferno? 180! Ooh! Ooh! So to damage... Oh wait, no, I'm killing those in one shot. Hmm. Yeah, I remember the run, you just like run across the top of this level mostly, right? <laughs> I actually want to shoot something stronger. Okay, hold on. 22860. Let me write that down. Let's see if I kill this in one shot. I... I didn't. Okay, 23220. Minus 23220. Okay, no, that is 360. Okay, so... My weapon is currently doing double damage than normal. That's... That would make sense as, um... As the, like, value for... For weapon upgrades. They're still definitely way too far out of the way to be worth it anywhere. Especially since you don't even fight a boss in this level. Yo, mole! Welcome, welcome. But yeah, I mean, the potential of needing to mash half as many times. Gosh, it's also hard to decide what exactly is worth it, since it kind of depends a little bit on how quickly you can mash. Because I'm not very good at mashing, compared to some people. I'm not awful at it, but I'm not great at it. <laughs> Like, the, uh, the animation skip, uh, when you select your character, I have not gotten a single time in practice or in runs, uh, whereas in Eilis' PB she got it, like, six times or something, <laughs> just from mashing, not from trying to time a button press, so, yeah, I'm, I'm not great at mashing, I know that. But because of that, that means that uh, needing to mash less is worth more to me. Oh yeah, that makes sense. It would take me up here. Is this just going to go right back down? Yeah. The greatest chatter of all time. That is what everybody calls you, yeah. Don't walk off. Please don't walk off. Hmm. 
curious about that. Is that just a health pickup? I see a button over there. I wonder what that button does. I'll wait for it. Oh, I should also check how much damage the homing shots do. Because I know in the Predacon campaign there's a boss that... still use those four. And it would be nice to, uh, to put a number to that. I mean, again, all you need to do is see how much your score changes by. When you shoot something, you get points for how much damage you did to it. Three forty to seven hundred. But also I hit two things. So my homing shots are currently doing one eighty. Interesting. Waiting to find like one thing in here. Wait, no, hold on. Those enemies probably each had 180 health. Let me let me check this again, because that was 700 to 180. That's 480. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Let me check that one more time to make sure I got that number right next time something climbs over this wall, probably. No, there's just a bunch of small things. Because, yeah, that was 200, but I killed it in one hit. I mean, I guess in a sense it is also just good to know how much health things have. Know when I see an enemy if I need to hit the attack button once or twice to kill it. Some other gate, very nice, very nice. jump up here, right? Yes. Yeah, I totally can. Okay. It's a little finicky, but yes, you can. Yeah, I can nearly jump on the roof from here. Mole, I saw you've been posting some art on Twitter, and it's all looking pretty good. I've been thinking a little bit about trying to practice sketching. I would like to be a better artist than I am. I don't expect to be some kind of great artist or anything by any means, but, uh, you know. It'd be nice to make doodles that don't look terrible. It'd be nice to make doodles where people don't look at it and go, Oh, what is it? Oh, interesting. Um, can I just skip the rescue mission? No, I should do the rescue mission once. Yo, code. This is Beast Wars Transformers for the PlayStation 1. It's a game with two campaigns. I'll play Terror Sore. Oh my god, Terror Sore, what a name! 
I love the character names in this. <laughs> They're so good. Um, this game has two campaigns, and I did speedruns of one of the campaigns earlier this year, and I'm playing the other campaign for the first time now. Oh my god, that voice. <laughs> I love this. This is such a good game. I feel like people don't believe me when I tell them that, but... No, it really is. I've still never played Sonic Adventure Battle 2. I've heard it's good. Or at least I've heard it's well-loved. Real video game done with that Spyro garbage. But yeah, there's basically one campaign where you're playing as the good guys and one campaign where you're playing as the bad guys. And this is the bad guy campaign. The Predacons, as opposed to the Maximals. Warning. Also, yeah, this is almost exactly the same. Yeah, it's almost exactly the same as the uh, maximal rescue missions. Can you hit that, please? Oh, I didn't know I could shoot that up, sure. Yeah. Good job, Terror Sore. Start mission. Cool. I'm gonna save it. Because here's the thing about this game. If you Start die, uh, it has permadeath. Uh, hold on, I gotta read this. Scans reveal that Rhinox is retreating, but a massive mobile power source has been detected outside his fortress. Press on into his territory and annihilate all opposition. See, so yeah, you only have four characters, and if you die, you lose that character until you do a rescue mission and you can get them back. Uh, but Inferno is the only Predacon worth playing, so I'm just saving between every level, and if I die, I'll just reload the save. Oh no. Oh. Hey, I didn't die. I should have. I really should have died there. Okay, well, that's interesting. Oh, that's interesting. Seeing that through the geometry. Which level of stasis pod? Was that this one? Scorpion's having trouble finding me. Does it matter what your angle is like here? Like, does that affect your jump height at all? Also, do I want to do this in corners, or... 
Ah, it's polluted one. Okay. Oh, that's right. It is because it's it's stasis pod because that's where you free the the other character, your fifth character. That would make sense. I guess my question is, is there a trick to this, or is it just timing? And also, is it consistent timing, or is it... Like, some super precise bullshit? Like, oh, if you do it... With this distance going forward, then you happen to get bumped up a little bit. Because, I mean, obviously... You don't want to do it too late, or else you've started falling. And you don't want to do it too early, or else you... You hit the, uh, the ramp. I feel like I'm almost making it up here. I feel like I could make it up here. It's just a question of, oh, of how many tries it takes me. <laughs> and then I immediately fall back down, amazing. Okay, so at least I am getting an idea of which which walls I can and can't jump up. Where? Oh, you're up there. Inferno, you're so slow. Let's see, was the start of the level over here? Oh, this is... the end of... That makes sense, this is the end of Maximal's polluted one. Kinda. I think it is, yeah. It's just built different. I'm just built different. Yeah, this is level two. I just started and immediately fell off the side here. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to. I just tried aiming at something and fell. Mole. What kind of sandwich is it? Whatever's on the other side is not following me. I had something pretty tasty for lunch. Oh, you could totally jump over this and then over the gate. I, um... Oops. For my lunch, I made a brat, which I usually eat in, like, a, a roll or a hot dog bun. And with it, I put some uh, sliced banana peppers and blue cheese. It's tasty. I don't know what the general consensus is here on blue cheese, but I am a firmly blue cheese person. You don't think you've completed the level normally? I'm not surprised. If I didn't feel so compelled to to do that with every level. I, I don't know what reason I would have to. The skips are so much fun in this game. I don't know, I guess I... I like knowing where everything is in levels, just in case we ever want to try coming up with another category. A <laughs> milder blue cheese, which sucks. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, like, I think it would be fun if we had an open all doors category. That's the closest thing I can think of to 100%. <laughs> because, like, there is no percent thing in this game. And we're not gonna have glitch lists, there's no reason for that. It's not like there even are really glitches in this, it's just, yeah, some, some jumps are tight, but you can do them. Get good. But yeah, like an open all doors category, I think that would 
That would potentially be interesting. Still have to go everywhere, but find a bunch of different new routes for levels. Yeah. Yeah. Because, I'm, I mean, really, though, what are the glitches in this game? Like... Inferno jumping higher isn't a glitch. They made him that way. <laughs> I guess, okay, running on ceilings. Running on invisible ceilings might be considered a glitch. That, now that I think about it, that would be... <laughs> like, half of level one in this campaign. <laughs> Cream cheese, arugula, and a bit of chili paste on it? That sounds good. It's a good sandwich. I don't know why I'm jumping everywhere. Jumping is slow. Honestly, that's something that I have kind of enjoyed in this game, is that jumping is just obviously slow. As opposed to so many games where it's like, oh yeah, just jump everywhere, roll everywhere, or... Just, like, be doing something all the time to make you go faster. I like having a game where it's like, no, just move. Doing actions will slow you down. Just move normal. That's the, that's the fast way. Um, yeah, let's get rid of those. The other reason I wanted to play through this, normally, is... I feel like I've gotten a lot better at the game, uh, after speedrunning it. But also, most of the speedrun involves just ignoring things, and I'd like to know that I've actually gotten better at, like, combat and... exploration, and just actually playing the game normal. I don't know, right now I'm feeling like I have. something up here. I'm gonna run back this way and look in the other corners here. Feel like I might have missed something. Is that the end of the level? Do you like killing kill an enemy up there and that's where this ends? Gotcha. Is it possible to kill that boss from down here? Probably not. I thought I saw a white dot on my radar up there. Oh, come on, come back here. I was shooting at you. But the white dot did not seem to be going close enough to the edge for me to target it. So down here, those, the higher part of this slope looks like something that I could jump up. But if it's not, I'm not even sure how I would tell. I 
I wonder, can I pause buffer this game? <laughs> Not really. Oh my god. Because if I could just look and say, like, you know... Oh yeah, this is the frame where I hold forward. Oh, I need to be holding X too, I forgot. I don't know, that... Maybe that'd be something. But that pause buffer does not look... <laughs> does not look reasonable. Just fly, duh. Dang, you're right. Come on, Inferno. We are. Inferno is one of the flying characters. God, I, I still can't get over the name Terror Sore. I hadn't heard that one yet. there was an angle that you could jump at where you just be like, yeah, just hold forward and you'll make it up every time. down earlier, I think. The interesting thing about it, Sean, is uh, only two characters can jump this high. The, every other character in the game has the same jump height and it's less than this. Like, significantly less than this. For some reason, they made it so that only Inferno and Scorponox can jump on walls like that. Ah. I probably needed to open this. What if I just, like... Nope, that's an invisible wall. Nope, that's... That cliff. Oops. Maybe. I definitely hit invisible wall where I went, but... I didn't try very hard, obviously. Oh. And you, get out of here. Let's just go back up here and try again. That looks like a big gap in the wall, and I'm curious why. Wait, I'm sorry, does this just stay over here? And what's this doing? This platform I'm on. It just goes up and then circles around? Amazing. Yeah, I'll give it one more try. Try it on this side. Platform's just vibing. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, you probably could. Yo, j -Ro. It would be a tight jump, but you probably could. There's an invisible wall that seems to extend a ways along it, but not all the way. Not remotely all the way. <laughs> Come back. So if I knew where to aim... Let's say it's, you know... There. 
<laughs> okay, maybe it's not as tight as I was worried. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, nice. <laughs> ooh, ooh. When that was the optimal strat, I see. I want to open this gate, though. I want to see where the button for it is. See, I don't think I've gone this way yet. I don't remember this being super bright in the other level. I might just be misremembering. It's not like I've gone over here very much. I wish I had some sense of if I was doing this early or late. Oh yeah, I love that documentary. Not just because it involves me, I just feel like it's really well made, Hum did a good job. Mole, if you like speedrun content like that, I really recommend watching all the rest of the videos by that person. Hum has made some very, very good ones. He made one on the history of Crash Bandicoot 100% that is one of my favorite speedrunning videos now. But yeah, I, I'm i really proud of the work I did in Vortex. One of my fonder speedrunning experiences. Oh my goodness. So maybe I was wrong about corners like that being easier to jump up. Or I don't know, maybe I'm just bad still. It's probably both. I just really want to jump up here and then jump through the ceiling. <laughs> oh my god. Can I go up here? Will this be easier? Yes, apparently it will. Go. I do still want to jump through the ceiling, but I'll do that in a minute. I think that'll need a little bit more work than I had just done. Oh, there's just health here. Oh. And it's super easy to get back up here from here, I bet. Because I can jump up here, and then, dang it, jump up here, and then, oh god damn it, and then forward. Just jump forward from here. That's what I'm trying to do. Can I, am I even jumping high enough? 
Yeah, I totally am. No, because as soon as I try jumping forward, I'm just getting shot off it. That's what I want, at least. Ah. Ah, yes. I did. Hum was also one of the people that I used to watch a lot when I was getting started in Spyro. Back when I was getting started, he, uh, he had one of the better 120 times. I'm surprised this jump isn't, like, super free the way I'm doing it. I mean, I guess my angle is a little funky. Like, my standing angle before the jump. There we go. But I wouldn't expect it to be messing up as much as it was. Anyway. So from over here... Is there anything? No. There's nothing. I want to jump up here now. That's my next step. go, and then I jump again, and I'm on the roof. No, the roof has no collision! It's not like that other roof. It's not like other roofs. up here again. Roof has no collision, but I can walk along here, and I would be able to jump up here, theoretically. This is the edge of the map. I'm not sure where the actual border happens, if I can walk along the edge here or not. If nothing else, this is giving me good practice for Inferno jumps. Raven, did you ever look at what the window is on jumping onto walls like this? Like, is this a frame-perfect movement after jumping that you need to do? Or do walls vary in height a little bit, so it just depends on the wall? I'm also not sure if I want to be... Wallsbury, gotcha. If I want to be standing flat beforehand, or angled slightly, or if it matters. I'm not sure I could even go anywhere from up here. No, I guess I could theoretically jump over there from here. But that is about all I see from here. I mean, that's still a potentially interesting jump, I don't know. I almost feel like it'd be easier to just uh, pick a spot on the ground to jump from. And just jump and hold forward. Get a setup that way. Assuming what I'm trying to do is even possible. For all I know, I can't stand on this wall. Yeah, I'll leave it for now.
Yeah, I seem to remember it's another, like, from the start of the level, you just go out of bounds and run to the end of the level type things. Oh. Maybe I could have jumped here at least. Because that's a much shorter wall right after this one. It seems like the Maximals campaign as a whole, at least in terms of the speedrun, is way easier than some of the movement you'd have to do for this. That's the impression I get anyway. Do you... I don't know. I've been over there. Wait a minute. The map is green there. I don't remember what was over there, but I've been there. It just seems like some of these walls are hard <laughs> to jump up, is all. I don't know, I guess I also haven't done a Maximals run in a while. I might be forgetting stuff. Oh! This was, like, the start of the level. I'm just over here now. Oh. Maybe that's why this level is so short. The end is so close to the start. <laughs> Oh, I missed a button. <laughs> I see the boss. Fine, I can jump around a little bit more. Hmm. Where have I not gone? Gosh, and I really want to try jumping along the wall here, but I'm pretty sure if I do, I'm just gonna die. <laughs> so that's, that's not really much of an option. gonna be pointy top. Meatball! Meatball subs are good. It's been a while since I've had one, actually. <clears throat> I used to get them sometimes... Subway is the only sandwich shop where I ever got meatball subs. But, uh, it's been a long time since I've been to a subway. What if I jump up here? This is perfect. This is exactly what we wanted. <laughs> I have not gone here yet. Is this where the button is? I think there's an important button here in the Maximals campaign 
Yes, that is the important button. And it's... Oops. Fuck. Fuck. Oh good, I didn't die. I was about to say, it's coming back to me what the skip in this level is. This is the one where you, like, jump on a building and then jump over to the edge of the map, right? I, I feel like I'm remembering that now. Yeah. Interesting how these bridges are kind of broken. And then jump around the other gate, gotcha. Yeah, the building you jump on is weirdly shaped, so I can imagine not thinking or trying to jump on it early. Actually, hold on. 2686. Hold on, let me just pull up the calculator. That's 800. The charge shots are doing 800 damage. Hmm. That's more damage than I would have expected. Start mission. Start mission. Nope. Nope. Continue game. The destroyed mech contained a powerful energy cell. Eliminate Rhinox and his technology will be ours! Let's do it, guys. Let's go... let's go kill a rhino. The dream of every ant... kill a rhino. Now, as I recall, you can just, like, jump down and to the right, and if you avoid a death plane, then you're good. Um, and that's where the boss is, but... I'm sorry, what am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to jump across this gap? There's no way that's right. Surely there's like a platform that comes by or something. Cause like... The, <laughs> there's no way that's right. There, I don't believe it. I don't believe that that's what you would do. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Oops. Oh god, oh god. Get away, get away. Oh my god, no! <laughs> Start mission. Let's get Inferno back. Okay, if I only barely make this jump as Inferno, what hope would, like, Megatron have?
an intended jump that only certain characters can make that's so weird. Why did they do this? That's only 480 as a charged shot. Huh. I must have gotten a damage upgrade at some point in the last level and not noticed. But it's weird that the unupgraded charge shot would do 480, but the upgraded one apparently did 800? That's not double. Hmm. Yeah, I just, I just need to look at the stats more. Got to open up Task Studio again. Just gonna assume that some more things are gonna show up while I'm writing this. Although actually the main thing that would have shown up is probably the thing I destroyed already. Does this go anywhere interesting or is it just gonna head back now? Yeah, it just heads back. Rescue mission. Let's go. That's interesting that you can't destroy these boxes here, but you totally can destroy them in um, in the Megatron fight. Can and are supposed to destroy them in the Megatron fight. Okay, I don't care about whatever's up there. I'll just fight Rhinox. Yeah. We did it. Go team. I'm gonna look up the stasis pod jump, because I do want to try it. Assume the IL will have it. I assume the world record would have it too, but I'll just check the IL. Oh, that's right, this level. Can I just not do the rescue mission? <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, this one. Go there and land, and then you're right near the end of the level. Okay. I was right about to say you're right near the start of the level, because my brain is still in Maximals mode, but... Okay. Maximals have sent a recovery party for a spaces pod traced to the polluted region. You must find it first. 
Unstable energon deposits will mean transformations will be limited. Inferno. I didn't mean to transform. Although, I don't know, if I want to jump on here, maybe I should. Get out of here. You big shooty shoots. Okay, so I go over here, and I transform and take out the things that are shooting at me so that I can stop thinking about them. So it was like I jump up here, then over there. Nope, don't fall. Okay, I just fall. Where does this take me? Nowhere good. Okay, let's just, uh... to start again, maybe? Can I just climb this, though? Also? Because that would be real handy if I could just say, no thanks. How are you still following me over here? You... Wait, what are you doing? Get out of here! Gosh, it looks like I would only need to go a little higher to maybe just jump out. Golf, there is never a wrong time to talk about meatballs. That's why. No, don't jump in place, please. Okay, maybe that's not gonna work the way that I wanted it to. Ah! Meatballs are always on the menu. Oh, well. Okay, that was bound to happen. Let me... Let me look at the first couple of jumps of this again. Level starts. The level starts. It takes so long to load, goodness. Jump up there and shoot at some things. Then transform on the platform. And yeah, it just takes a good jump to get over there. Okay. Start mission Inferno. take me. Oh, right back here. Neat. Huh. And you can't climb this mountain? No, maybe not. I see kind of jumpable spots, but not many and not really accessible to each other. I also don't really know what it's like to try to go along the top of this mountain. I promise I will actually try the known jumps in a minute, I just want to look at other stuff. No, 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 no. Ah. Yes to that, though. Give Inferno gun. How about this way? Probably nothing here. This looks much worse.
Because, yeah, like, I see ground that I can jump up here, but nothing really past this. Like, even if I got up there, what would I do? I don't think I'd be able to climb that, really. I doubt it, anyway. Gosh dang it, I'm curious now. Can I? No, don't hit that wall! I got so lucky getting up here in that one jump. <sighs> Bad jump. Okay, no, yeah, I cannot jump up that. And if I can't do that, looks like my next best hope would be up here. But then even from here, like, I can't climb this. Not really, anyway. Like, I see... I guess I'd see where I could potentially be trying to jump to from there, but that's not easier. <laughs> and then from there, I also don't really see anything better. Gosh, I really wish that I could have found some way to give you infinite jump height in Bizhawk. I could not figure out what, like, memory addresses to freeze, or what numbers to change, or whatever, to make you jump higher. Because in a lot of games, you can just, like, freeze your current Y velocity if you want. For some reason, that, uh... I wasn't getting that to work in this. Almost. Alternately, maybe I could jump up there. But if I fail that jump, then I fall all the way down. Oh, now I have a sneeze coming on? That's not helping. <coughs> Thank you, golf. Almost, almost. No, and now I'm down. Oh my god, did you see that? I was... Why can you do this? Why is this allowed? <laughs> what kind of angle is this? How have I not just fallen off? Okay, I'll go back to trying the actual jumps. For now, I guess. No, that's a lie. I'm a liar. I want to try this again. Would you come over here already? There we go. I don't know, I just, I really believe in this. Oh, I can just stand. I didn't realize. Okay, but can I stand here now? Yes. 
Haha! I made it up! Okay. That looks to me like it would be faster than the other jumps. Because you can start in beast mode and not have to wait at all for the platform. That said, what was the specific really hard jump? Was it the one from here, or was it the one over there? I assume it's this one, but I also forgot where to jump again. Yeah, it's like here? Oh my god. I'll go back and do it again in a second. I'm gonna just take these out. I, I don't want to deal with this. Shoo. Shoo bugs. Okay. So yeah, it's just right up here, right? Like... Gosh, hold on. Let me jump back a little. Oh my god, yeah, no, it's just run up here and then do it. I don't know why, I keep feeling like aiming kind of into that wall will help. Like, if I can get pushed off of the left wall, it'll push me onto the ledge. And I also want to be to the right, because the ground is higher there. Right? It slopes up a bit, yes? I think so. Maybe it's just my imagination. God, I got it once. And is it just this jump that's really hard, or is it this and the follow-ups? Just this one? Okay. Well, I've done it once so far. <laughs> I did it once and then immediately jumped back down. Yeah, this this is a really tough one. <laughs> I believe it. Seems like here... I would want to go get myself as angled as I can first, because it seems like the further forward I am, the further up I am. Come on. There's one... Maybe that's it? One, like, super vertical angle I can get. Like that, kinda. So I don't think... In the video I was just glancing at, I don't think she even did that. Yeah, no, not really. She just walked up and nailed it. I know, Golf. What a bad streamer I am. Called being a React streamer. <laughs> That's exactly it. Oh, 
Okay, I'm giving up. Um, that is very, very hard. I am impressed that anyone has managed to get remotely consistent with that. Maybe I'll get better with it as I improve as Inferno. Oh, ah, screw this. Just reset the level. But, uh, yeah, that, that's a tough one. Okay. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Load game. <laughs> okay, so here's the jump that I was looking at. <clears throat> jump to the first wall here. And up here. And yeah, you can do that without needing to wait at all. From here, you don't slide, you can just stand, and you can set up other jumps really easily. And then, boom, you're on the top. So, I mean, it took me a second to set up those jumps, but they're very easy. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's super free. Rescue mission! The only thing I'm here for! Yeah! Okay, I'm gonna play the level normal now because I still want to do that. Actually... Uh, real quick, I'm going to just clip me doing those jumps. Where was it? There we go. That's the start of the level. Where did I finish getting the jumps and up onto the wall? pod route uh, just gonna clip this and share it to the Beast Wars Discord <laughs> yo Eyeless apparently I did Just clipped it. There it is. I'll post it in the Discord as well. I... I mean, obviously I just found it, so I don't know, but I think that's faster, too. Just because you're not waiting on the platforms. Seems good to me. Okay. Back to actually playing the game. Imagine actually playing this game. <laughs> I didn't mean to go into beast mode, but I guess I'll jump on the platform with it. Uh, there you are. Come on, platform. Oh, did I already get the other thing here? No, there it is. Okay. And then I guess I accidentally shot the other other thing. Yeah, um... Raven was just having me try it. I got it one time, and it seems real hard. <laughs> Alright. Gosh. Get off of the Energon pits. Right. 
And did that? Yes, that's what brought that down. Okay. So far, I haven't really been playing with the skips. I've just kind of been running around and seeing what the levels are like for fun. But, uh... I'm glad that in 90 minutes of playing this campaign, I found a new strat. Sometimes new eyes is just what something needs, though. I'm so you can go ahead and read some donations. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I feel like that's a cousin of complaint strats. Say, go into some public space and say, gosh, this thing is so hard, I've been struggling with it for a while now and I just can't do it, and then you get it next try. I don't know, there's an effect words have on the universe, I can't explain it. Ooh. Yeah, give me that. And then I guess jump across here would be the next step. And I see a button down there, so I guess we will go down there eventually. Oh god, I forgot about these things! Get out of here! You're not welcome here, Mr. Giant Monster. What is shooting at me? Oh, you're shooting at me. Yeah, they're pretty ridiculous. my pickup box for it would be so big. Oh, I didn't notice the scorpion. I don't need Energon right now. I mean, considering how often Alyssa's has run this at marathons now. <laughs> what is here? You! You're gross! I don't like these things, they're gross. Big ol' worm spitters. <laughs> Is there anything here? Is this just a cliff? That's just a cliff. That's just a cliff, but there's a teleporter there! Do I teleport down there, or will falling down there just kill me? I feel like going down there at all would just kill me. You know, Earth, famous for the giant worm sacks, that's right. Oh gosh, dang it, because, like, I'm almost positive that it'll just kill me. But when I read j Rose's words, jump off it, I really want to just jump. It doesn't auto-kill you! How about that? Thank you, j Rose. Thank you for pushing me to be my best self. No clue where that is. Gross. This whole thing is gross. Ooh! Yes, please. Where... I know I've been here before, but which... <laughs> where is this? Is this coming down? No, this is going back up. I'm Okay, I'm going the right way. I see, okay. Because I, I saw a button down there earlier, but the pink, like, fog made me think, I don't know, I don't know about that. j -Row leveled up, let's go. And Raven leveled up a little bit ago, let's go. And 
Inferno leveled up. After shooting all these things. Let's go. Joe, are you in the top 10 yet? Leaderboat? 11th, wow. Who's ahead of you again? Was it Lucas? Yeah, I'll leave that. I don't want to go that way yet. Because I'm pretty sure if I go that way, I'm going to die. Alexa, that's right. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing about the new strat. It seems really easy. Like, I've been doing the Inferno jumps, and I suck at them. But that new jump, it, it's pretty free. I wouldn't be surprised if you could do it as other characters. a bug. Is it the one on screen? <clears throat> oh. Huh. <laughs> so what, it just, it doesn't track name changes at all? Is Mole getting experience for Mole Trooper? Because, like... God. Um, I remember with Miku, if you changed your name, it would just reset your experience, basically. I mean, not reset it, but you know, you, you start getting experience under a new name, and the old name will stop getting experience. Are you saying it's only giving experience to the new name? Or the, the old name. Imagine all those things I said, except pretend I said it right, and then answer the question I was really asking. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're supposed to make this jump off, off of this slope? Excuse me? <laughs> oh, God. Connects the account correctly, just not the name. Gotcha. New jump is love. I'm glad. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that's awful. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> I say it's awful. I have not had an unintentional death yet without doing something really stupid. So, it's definitely hard. It's definitely harder than it should be. I'm sorry, where's the, the worm spitter here? Oh god! Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. I... that really surprised me. <laughs> that... that honestly scared me. I was so focused looking for the thing spitting out worms. <laughs> this is a horror game. This is a horror game with jump scares. This is the way I came up. <laughs> This is a big guy, right? No, it's just a scorpion. Yeah, 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 I'll transform. Where does this take me? Oh, this is how I get up here. Okay. Hey, what are these red and blue things for? I don't actually know. I think I learned at one point, but I forget. Oh, and then I'm down here. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Routes. Oh, that's right. Red is breaking destructible things like the rocks in the first desert level in the Maximals campaign. That's right. Oh. 
blue buffs rockets. Oh, that would make sense. Yeah, okay. I'm so happy doing this again. I missed playing games and finding things. I enjoyed that Spyro grind, and I'm happy I hit my goal, but like, I really missed finding things in games. <laughs> and grinding an already relatively optimized category does not present many opportunities for that. Where is the enemy that's like on top of me? There. Is there a worm spitter over here in this campaign too? Pretty sure there's in the maximals. Nope. There's a bunch of enemies in the maximals campaign that aren't here. I think a few of the, the big murdery guys are over here too. I don't know what to call those. The the big guys that can like one shot you. One more enemy somewhere. Uh is that a scorpion? It is a scorpion. I can't see it, though. Oh, apparently I killed it, that's why. Sure, why not. Let's go ahead and get this rescue mission, and then not do it. As a race, they're called the Skrix, that's right, that's right. The big Skrix, Bert and Ernie. I think we're the ones in the next level? Maybe the level after. Yeah, I'll take it. Aha! <clears throat> I keep instinctively wanting to reach over and split. <laughs> I'm, I'm not doing the rescue mission. <laughs> I did one of them. They're in Kill Dinobot, gotcha. Polluted 2. Retrieving the pod has added Black Arachnia to the Predacon ranks. Data reveals the area to be infested by a new alien form. Stop the Maximals before they control the alien's power. Black Arachnia. Nope. Get out of here, all of you. Swarm things. I saw one more dot on my radar. Why are you not taking damage? This game. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, a bunch of energon crystals around. Nice. I need those to live. Probably get food soon. Food is good. I M H O. I should probably get something to drink soon.
What are you thinking about eating golf? What else is over here? The Skrix over here in the Maximals. Yep. One here too. Groceries to go pick up. Didn't get food well out, but. But you're not hungry yet? Oh, yeah. Ooh, Skyline Chili. Nice. I'm really excited, Golf, someday to come out and visit you and see Skyline Chili. I want to know what it's like. You talk about it so much. j has low opinions of it. j is a fool. Actually, I want to- I want Piata too, because I, I do like my pasta. Pasta is tasty. It's low opinions of it compared to what I've heard from Golf. What if Piata did do chili cheese dogs? Just among everything else on their menu, also that. I assume this is a script, yeah. those wall things. Shooty shooty. Danger. Energon meter low. Transform immediately. Yeah, I guess I'll transform. I doubt there are gonna be any other Skrix around. It's probably just gonna be maximal defenses from here on. Coming? No, they're not coming. They're staying over there. There was a button here before. Is it the same button hooked up to the same wall? No, it's not. Okay. That would have been funny. Thank you, Muzz. I really hate those darn Maximals, and I can't wait to blow them up. Come on, let me go. There we go. Muzz! And A-list, but also Muzz! 107! My goodness! Okay, there is another enemy right over there. Ah, oh, whatever. Massive muzz. I feel like I should be able to jump up any of these, and I'm just failing to. <laughs> God, I wish there was just, like, a trick to it, instead of it just being hard. <laughs> what is happening with the... There's something weird going on with the camera here. Why is the camera getting, like, forced up? That doesn't happen anywhere else.
I also feel like my character is getting caught on something in the air. You see that? Maybe the game's just lagging. It might just be lag. <laughs> Camera thinks I make the jump. Maybe, maybe. Okay, okay. Play smarter. Let's try doing the jump from over here. That doesn't help. That's not helpful. Let's try doing the jump from here. That's also not really helping. Ooh, 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 ooh. How about from here, though? Yeah, like here? Le okay, not that, but you know what I'm g you know what I'm going for. Come on, game, you know what I'm going for. Just give me the jump. Oh, why do you slide off of that? How is this slidey ground? It's so flat. How is poutine? I've only heard about it. I've never I've never tried it. Don't hit the wall like that. <laughs> it's so dumb that I'm doing this because as soon as I make it, I'm going to say, "Cool, I made it." And then jump back down and look for the right way to do the level. <laughs> I'm just so surprised. Yo, toop. Thank you, Toop, for the 25 months. So many months. So much, Toop. Where did that even go? Super fast. Uh, this way. No, dang it. I think there also might be a button here in the the Maximals campaign, but still nothing. And over here, this is an invisible wall. Wait, what? Excuse me? I can't stand up here anyway. <laughs> what was the point of any of this? That's hilarious, actually. <laughs> what a funny game this is. Was this where the... Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm gonna grab this just to have it. Just to have it and then promptly ignore it after the level. Okay, here's a button. There's the button I wanted from way earlier. Guess I can just walk down here. I love that they reuse the levels because it's helping me get through this a lot faster than I might otherwise. <laughs> also, I don't know, like, maybe some people would find it lazy game design or something, but I really enjoy taking a space that I already know and needing to look at it a different way. So I, I don't know, I really like this. The game is definitely way too hard, but I think this is a pretty dang fun game. Also, once I realized that, like, pressing down 
or pressing back, I guess I should say, while jumping just stops your momentum. Uh, that made all of this game a lot easier. I can just stand on this? Neat. Mission. <laughs> what did you- <laughs> No! Why? Game, I was just complimenting you. Why would you do this now? <laughs> That's hilarious. What a video game. <laughs> I still think it's a pretty good game. I stand by that. I just... What a game. What a game this is. <laughs> Oh my god. It's fine. I, I mean, at least I'm not gonna be... Where's the other one? There it is. I'm not gonna run all through the level again. I know right where I'm going. And I'm not gonna bother fighting almost all of the enemies here either. <laughs> Did I need to hit a button, or do I just need to kill everything? Or do I need to kill anything? What's following me? You're following me. You annoy. Wait, there's something else here. You! Get out of here. No, I forget if I said it, but, uh... GG on the 14 tally PB. I think I saw you got. Also, GG on um, the the Spirothon thing. Ah, I probably need to fight something or some things. For anyone who doesn't know, uh, Spirothon is hosting a relay race tournament. Where uh, they're gonna they're gonna do the finals at Spirothon Eight in several weeks. With two streams of the uh, oh my goodness, two streams of the the races, the tournament uh, before then, and they did the first one last Friday, and it was really good. I watched the first race live, and then I actually went back and watched the whole VOD uh, later, which I almost never do for anything. <laughs> I was... I'm gonna go check the door, actually. I want to see if what I just did was enough to open it, or if there was a button I need to hit somewhere. But anyway, uh, I was timing out the loads in my Spyro 1 PB and wanted some content, and was really happy to have, like, three hours of my favorite race category going to, uh, to look at. Okay, that, yeah, that did not do it. I'm gonna see if there's a button somewhere that I forgot about. Because I don't think this was a kill all the enemies thing. Usually the kill all the enemies doors are in pretty small areas. So I would be really surprised if that was it. Like, may maybe it's around back here? That doesn't feel right. Because this was this, and then I just go over to, uh... to the Energon Crystal. What loads was I timing? All of them. And I'm disappointed in the results. To be frank. I, uh... My estimates for how much I was losing to loads were... Both turned out to be overestimates. Or not just loads, but loads and credit skip. Both turned out to be overestimates. Oh, that's right, the button's way over here. That's what it was. 
I thought, uh, based on early loads I had timed a long time ago, thank you, Muzz, uh, that I was losing somewhere between two to two and a half minutes to loads over the course of a 120 run. And as it turns out, after Artisan's, dragon load differences are basically negligible. There are some uh, where dragons take like half a second or a second longer, but most of the dragons for the rest of the game will take the same length as FDS. So I only am actually losing about 90 seconds to loads. And also credit skip, I had been told, saves about three minutes. Uh oh. Um, I had been told it saves about three minutes, and I got the exact number, and it was about 250. So, like, I'm happy that I, I hit my goal, sub-130 PS1 CS list woohoo, but also my gameplay is like 40 seconds worse than I thought it was, which is kind of disappointing to, to realize. It's still very good. That's still, like well into the top 10 equivalent, but it's not as good as I thought it was. Ends oh no indeed. Can I just walk off this? Yes. Yes, it is very good. I shouldn't feel bad about it. I don't know, for some reason it just kind of feels like a punch in the gut. It's just kind of a bittersweet ending to that goal. It's a silly thing to be upset about, so I'm trying not to dwell on it too much. I also, I think, I have a video showing just gameplay of my run compared to Deo's. Uh, where I synced it up at the start of Homeworlds, and I'm considering also putting John's PB in that, just to get an emulator with music off comparison in there too. Do I just run to the end of the level now? Do I need to fight anything or do anything? I'd be surprised if they stuck a boss over here, so... That's not right. Hold on. This way. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What are you? Big red things. No, hold on. Big red things. Looking for the tourist information. <laughs> oh my god, guys, I'm an ant. Why have we not been making Bugs Life jokes this whole time? What was Golf's question? Why are Dragon Loads making a difference in the first part of the game but not at the end? Um, no, I didn't answer that question. I think Dragon Loads... Okay, so one thing to understand about Spyro Loads in general is every load has an animation going with it. So like when you go into a level, it shows the, you know, gems coming out of the chest and going back in. With dragons, you need to wait for Spyro to walk to the position, and then the dragon starts. And then after the dragon ends, it like does its closing animation and goes away. Um, so, because of those animations, you can think of it like there's a minimum amount of time that loads need to take. And... I think the issue is that later dragons in the game tend to have shorter dialogues. Like, you know, a bunch of the early dragons are giving you tutorial information about the game, so they're long, so their loads take a while. Which means that they go... 
well past the minimum amount that need to happen. Whereas the later ones, all of the thank you for releasing me dragons, those, those just take the same amount of time to load on FDS as they do on SDS, because you need to wait for that animation either way. That's my current theory about it. Because it does seem to be dragon specific, it's not even level specific. The first dragon you rescue in Misty Bog took me like one less second to load than another dragon I rescued right after. So I, I think it's a dragon specific thing. Oh, there is a boss here. And again, I, I reached over to split as if that could do anything. Start mission. I'm gonna grab a soda before I start, start the next level. Mission. Dinobots. Experiments reveal the aliens to be of no use to the Brennicon cause. Wait, aliens? Are those the Skrix? However, they have helped to decimate the Dinobots' armies. Take advantage of his vulnerability. Kill Dinobot. I should probably watch this show sometime. So I have, like, any idea of what's going on. <laughs> Super simple, yeah. Hey, uh, there we go. I will, too. I absolutely will. And yeah, what's the merch new? is something. <clears throat> I sure no hoodie, let's go. I mean, yeah, I guess the reboot game is the same way. <laughs> same characters, not really anything else to do with the show. I don't know what I'm jumping around for. I know there's... As I recall, there's not really a major skip here. You just kind of run past the Skrix and go to the end. <clears throat> and then you get in a Rock'em Sock'em Robots fight with Dinobot. If memory serves. Again, it's been a while. I still need to play Quest for Infinity. I have it, like, prominently displayed on my game's shelf for no reason. I'll get around to it someday. I also need to, like, update my games to run spreadsheet to actually include all of the games I own. This isn't... I don't know, I always assumed this was like a plant, but like, this- you're on metal, what are you doing here? I mean, my- my exclamation point game spreadsheet. That spreadsheet.
Hold on, I want to walk around here for a minute. What is this? What? What is this? Oh, there's like turrets around! Sick! I had no idea! I've never noticed! Oh, and I can blow up the, the boxes here! I wasn't able to do that in, um, in the Rhinox level. They were just static objects for some reason. Very neat. Cool. I mean, it is the Redemptions one. It's also just, I don't know, I like having it there just to, uh, you know, if anybody's ever curious about what games I'm interested in, they can know that the answer is all of them. Uh, I'm gonna go back to Desert and do these. <clears throat> Cheetors, Energon mining machines are active in the desert area. Repeal, repeal, repel his advanced forces and destroy the rock blaster. Repeal those forces. We're gonna get a vote going, we're gonna repeal them. Oh, that's where I am, right. I really don't need to be in beast mode at all. I seem to be doing just fine on the Energon. And I would like to uh, take out the things that are trying to kill me. Just as a rule, I like I like it when there aren't things trying to kill me, you know. What uh what's off this way? A wall, that's right. That's right, okay. But uh what's up this way? like if I could just jump to there. Oh, come on! <laughs> I see I can jump there. I know I can. Ah, oh well. Not important. I'll follow the, the broken wall. just came from? No, it's not. It's definitely not. It's so easy to get turned around here.
sad. I'm sorry to hear that noise. Maybe someday. Maybe someday you'll see someone just wearing the shirt in the wild. And you can buy it off of them. <laughs> that are over here. Oh, there you are. No? Am I seeing things? You! Are you just, like, flying through the ground? What are you doing? Why are you flying so low? What is this ship doing? <laughs> it's adorable. It's so lost. It doesn't know what to do. It's scared. It's confused. That poor little ship. Wow. <laughs> Interesting toy. <laughs> I've been down there, and I'm also pretty sure that's a death plane. This was the way I was looking to go. <clears throat> oh, this is the end of the level. Inferno, Gonna be a couple of, uh, no, one big thing. Sorry, this is the... Oh my god, you weren't kidding. These shots do not connect. I had heard Isla say that in marathon runs, but wow. Yeah, that's awful. Where? Oh, I got it already, that's why. Start mission. Start mission. Desert 2. Surveys report the desert area to be energon rich. It must become a Predacon resource. Annihilate all Cheetor defenses and plant a bomb in the heart of his mining base. Oh, it's retro. <laughs> Glowy bug. I know Xandot Invincible is like... Like, it makes sense because I'm Invincible is a thing that Flick yells, but I kind of wish... I say I wish as if I can't do this. Part of me wants to just rename that emote Xandot Glowy Bug. <laughs> I think that's a funnier name. Danger. Energon meter low. Transform immediately. And then these jumps. Blech them safe. <laughs> I'm going for it as a classic. <clears throat> Whoever voiced Spike in that game really nailed that one. Get all of them? Looks like it. Looks like I did. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Ooh, you can jump on this. 
Neat. Oh, and I guess that's the mine. Oh, and a bridge. I didn't know slash forgot that there was a bridge here. I mean, I remember the big skips on this level, but I do not really remember much else. Yo, Greg. Thank you for the GLGL. Are you doing the, the Sprash Vector coming up? I feel like I've seen you streaming various Sprash games recently, but that also might have just been for the 1545. Plan 2, very nice. I considered doing this one, but honestly I'd really rather just be playing this. This and reboot. I've played enough Spyro for a while. Boom. It's a very good game. It's absurdly hard, um, but it's very fun. I do want to be going this way to the bridge. Yes. Yo, Sarah. Flip got a visual rehaul? He did. And when he goes from robot to bug, he says meatball. Listen. Meatball! Isn't that great? Isn't this a good game? We need to find time to hang out again. The music here is good. I like this. What? Oh. Oh, I guess I, I turned on the machine? And now it's dumping some rocks or whatever? Sure. Gotta dump the rocks. What am I supposed to do here? I know... I think I know basically what the speedrun does. Hmm. Music by Stuart Copeland. Hmm. Because, I mean, I could jump up here and jump over there. I don't know, that doesn't feel super intended. Doesn't feel super intended to Chalmers. I guess I can just jump up here. I feel like I should be doing something else. I don't know. Wait, what? Why is it ticking down? Did I did I do it? Oh, I guess I did it. Maybe I was supposed to jump onto the uh, the thing from here. I don't know. I have no idea what the game wanted from me. Start mission. I wish he was in this game. Start mission. Predacon Energon resources have been boosted by your success. Destroy Cheetor and domination of this vital area will be complete.
<laughs> I don't know, Mole. I think it's still pretty funny. At this point, I think it's mostly funny, the idea that you would hold a grudge over that for this long. <laughs> How long's it been now? Like, five years? Six years? I don't remember when N++ came out. 2016? 2015? I wonder if there's a way to skip this bridge. Because as I recall, the current speedrun route is basically to uh, hop over a wall to bring that bridge down immediately, and then cross the bridge. But if we could just not worry about the bridge, that would be nice. Gosh, I don't know, that seems pretty far from every angle. But also, what if you could just, like, hop up onto the wall over there? I don't know, I'll think about it. Uh, yeah, this is a PlayStation game. I love how this looks like, you know, big cat statues or whatever, but they're still just like giant robot things. Why does this not have collision all the way across? Gosh, yeah, from the start, you could just jump over this wall. Ooh, that would be nice. I think I'm gonna make an extra save here and look at this after I finish the game. And then, as with the other bosses, I'm going to run around for a little bit in here because I want to see what the room is like. I get so sad. Uh, about really, really cool boss levels that you only see for a few seconds because the boss is really easy. Tomba 2 has that problem as well. The pig arenas are so cool, but it's also not very hard to grab the boss in, like, one try and then be done with the level forever. And you can't go back and look at it. Okay, Volcanic, the hard levels. Maximal armies have been detected in the vicinity of our ship. This is a major threat to our security and must be neutralized. Slidey ground. Slidey bug. Is this another you need to kill things to open it thing? I think it is. God damn it, I forget about those so much. Those big patches of ground that damage you. I just, I forget they exist. Oops. Mission. Let's try that again.
big guts. Gotcha. I'll assume I need to go over here and hit a button or something like you do in Maximals. Reducing lag, not for speed, but just for my own sanity. Is there not a thing to write here to get back? You're here, being not very strong. I'm actually really surprised at how weak that was. <laughs> that thing did like a a pretty big looking attack that did almost no damage to me. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. A bug looking attack, yes. Following me? Yes, this thing is. The thing that did the bug looking attack. Oh, another one. Freest out of bounds in the game? Question mark? It's just right here, you just jump up. You're out. Good job. I know I've mostly been doing these levels as intended, there's a decent chance I'm going to try to skip these volcanic levels before the end. <laughs> I don't know, I guess we'll see. I just remember the volcanic levels being significantly harder than the whole rest of the game in the Maximals campaign. And I assume that's true here as well. Oh, there's a platform down there. Oh, that's not... Okay, I'm good. I'm good. It's fine. I was worried I was about to fall into that energon pit for a second. Don't go in the lava! Stop. 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 Please. Please. <sighs> that's that's kind of why I remember the volcanic levels being so hard. <laughs> they just, they do stuff like that. It's like, oh, here's the platform you're clearly supposed to jump on, and it's going along its path, and it's going along its path, and it's in the lava, and you're dead. What do you mean you jumped on it already? What are you, stupid? That's what the volcanic levels say, out loud, to you. Um... Not sure what the best way to do this is. I guess go this way to get the enemy... ...focused on me, hope that it keeps following me... ...and then go over here to find the other two and transform again.
Yeah, there we go. Good. Ooh! Shemp! Good work. Wait, there's another one? Where did you come from? Huh. You know, I also wonder... If you could just jump around this way. If this would even be faster. Uh oh. I might just be dead. I might have... This might have been a mistake, actually. Jump him, spin. Well, Sayla. Yeah, that's that's just lava, so don't go that way. Please jump the correct direction. Nope. Nope, that's not. Nope, nope, please. No, please, please. Okay, okay. We're safe. We're safe for a moment. And we saved it. Let's go. Oh! <clears throat> Have a good night, Mole. It was good to see you. I don't know. I I know that what I just did was super dangerous and probably looked really dumb, but I have a theory that that might be fast. Gosh, I don't know. Because the button's on the other side anyway. You'd need to... I don't know. I would need to look at it more. Alternately, it would be nice if we could just skip needing that button entirely. Wait, why do we need that button? Is that button a necessary condition of finishing the level? I know that sometimes that comes up. Oh, I don't really mind spoilers. I, um... I speedrun the Maximals campaign. This is just my first time playing this one, but the campaigns share levels, so they're... very mostly the same. Uh, I can just walk down this way. And then hop over here and shoot at whatever's been shooting at me. Oh! I wonder if that's something that I want. Oh well. And one more enemy over here. Uh, no. That was uh, the first polluted level, not volcanic. Oh, wait a minute. Can I walk on this? Oh, no, I can't. Not all of it, anyway. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. That's gonna go down. I'm gonna shoot it. Whatever's right here. Get these out of the way. And then when this is coming up, I can jump on it again. Where are you? There you are. I know that this is a skip and that I'm supposed to do something to take out the wall. But I would really like to jump up here and get the, the health pickup that's there. I don't know, maybe I should try to take this instead. Wait, are you not? Oh, what? I thought... Oh, it's this one. This one's the one that comes over here. I can just make that jump, actually. Pretty comfortably. Um, Because I want that really bad. I'll just write this back. Actually, no, I want to write this one back. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, we already did that and got Black Arachnia.
Have fun getting food, Golf. What? Why was there a big white flash? What was the white flash? Also, what would get this wall down? You know what? I don't care. I'm gonna... There's an easier way to, to do this jump. From here, probably. I'm just gonna ignore this wall and be a cheater. Maybe. Maybe this is too hard. <laughs> Come on. Ooh, okay, so that's something that I do need to hit later. This isn't just optional stuff like I thought it was. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. I know it is. I saw there was a really, really easy out of bounds earlier. Like a kind of absurdly easy one. I'm just looking for skips everywhere though. Mostly because I'd really like full health. You know what? It doesn't matter. If I die, it's probably gonna be because of something that's one-shotting me. What is that? What? I don't remember that. What is that thing? thing is destroyed. You're right. You're right. I guess I don't need to worry about it. I wonder if that's what the white flash was when I first came over here. Like, for some reason it died immediately and then respawned? I don't know. Oh, there you are. Oh, and that's the other wall that I opened up. Okay. So I'm gonna guess I ride this platform to a button, and that button will open the steam wall that I skipped earlier. This is such a fun game. I'm happy I'm back to playing it. I know I keep saying that, but like, it's true. What is going on with the geometry there? Wait, am I supposed to... Oh no, that's how I'm supposed to do this! No! No! Jump! Yeah, okay. That's what I mean when I say that I'm probably gonna die to things that are one-shotting me. Start mission. It's hard to say. Um... You know, I think... I think the Predacon campaign, but part of that is that Inferno is the best character in the game. <laughs> I mean, stats-wise. I think I like Rat Trap more, but... But, uh... I mean, the fact that Inferno just jumps higher than everyone else makes the whole game a little bit easier and a little bit less dumb sometimes. Get out of here. Yeah, Inferno just jumps higher. I have numbers to put to it too. I looked I looked at the stats once. It's like almost every character in the game has a jump height of I can just check. I have the Discord right here. 
almost every character in the game in beast mode has a jump height of 231 but Scorponok and Inferno have a jump height of 330 so it's nearly a 50% bigger jump if I could just go around this wall that would be swell but yeah because of that all of the really, really difficult intended jumps are very easy. And then the difference between Inferno and Scorponok is Inferno has a better weapon and more health. It's also hard to say because when I played the Maximals campaign, it was my first time playing this game. Uh, and this game is very hard to figure out. Uh, whereas now, I have a pretty good idea of how to do everything. So just going through the levels is not that difficult. So part of it feels, you know, like, more reasonable to me, I guess, but that's also just because of my experience now. Can we not just jump out here? I also really like speedrunning this game because the skips are a lot of fun. It's not like there are any big, crazy, super game-breaking glitches, it's just like, oh yeah, if you do a kind of tight jump, you can just get on top of the level. And I enjoy games where the skips are movement-based like that. I don't know. I just need to get high enough that I can get one jump to jump to the right. If I could get up there, that would be big. Oh, maybe I can't. Maybe... Huh. <laughs> that would be a good bonus level. <clears throat> this is... I mean, the mechanics and physics of this game are a lot of fun. That is pretty undeniable. I think this game had a lot of potential for being really, really great. Hmm. Hmm. Oh wait, no, don't fall in the lava, please. I don't I don't want to fall in the lava. What's up here? Is this just lava? That's just lava. Probably just go back to playing the level normal. I could look at this anytime. Oh, I haven't watched the show. 
I was saying earlier I really should sometime. <laughs> oh well. This is the second game that I started speedrunning that was based on a cartoon that I didn't watch by the same studio. Because the studio that made the Beast Wars Transformers TV show was Mainframe, which is the same company that made the show Reboot, and I also speedrun the Reboot show, or the Reboot game. I have since watched the Reboot show, but I had not really watched it when I started running the game. It just seemed like a really fun game. Now, the big thing here... I want that. I don't think I need it, I just want it. And then I, I should be able to just... Well, what do you drop? Because big things frequently drop something. You just drop Energon. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think I need to actually fight anything else here for now. Okay, good. No fall damage, thank you. Yeah, it was a it was a disappointing ending. I forget if they were told that they would get more episodes and then the, uh, and then some executives decided otherwise, or if they just wanted more episodes and so intentionally left it on a cliffhanger. There was some show I was watching recently where that happened, where they deliberately left it on a cliffhanger hoping that would convince people to let them make more episodes, and then it just wasn't really enough. Yeah, it, it was dumb. Big white, right now? Yeah. This. Okay, let's try this again. Also try to take out whatever's buzzing around here. So, my problem before was that I was not expecting that platform to move away as quickly as it did. Because, yeah, it just, it goes and then goes away again immediately. That's what I wanted. And that'll turn that off, yep. I wish more people liked the reboot game, but also it's nothing like the show, so it's hard to blame anyone for not liking it. It doesn't even have GameCubes in it, it's just like, oh no, Megabytes released a bunch of tears on the city, gotta take them out. But for the game that it is, it's very, very fun. It's just not much like the show. Wait, wasn't there... Oh. I thought there was one of those... those big fist guys over here. Oh well. 
Again, I kind of wanted more health, but it's really not important. Okay. That platform is now going along there. Which means I eventually want it to come back so I can ride along it. <clears throat> and I think it comes back and goes down, and I should be able to just, like, jump on it. Right? It doesn't... Yeah. Easy. Where are there enemies around here? Oh, it's things in the lava, of course. Oh, oh. Oh, actually, I want to get off of this, like, ASAP. In the Maximals campaign, this is another platform that just goes into the lava. And it doesn't here! Are you serious? This game just loves messing with you. There we go. Danger. Energon meter low. Transform immediately. Yeah, like it doesn't have Mouse or Andrea or you with the major characters. I I would love if they made another reboot game. I would love if they made another PS1 reboot game, honestly, but... I don't know how many people would be in a position to play that exactly. Just do what you did before, but make it a better game. That would be ideal. What is this enemy doing? Why is it just like sitting there? Ah, this is how I get over here. Okay. And that's how you get that health pickup, which then I think you would just be stuck down there, so... No thanks. There we go. Um... It wasn't, actually. It was made, I want to say, between Seasons 2 and 3. It's just that it's a prequel. It, the story is set before the show starts. Because the game starts with, like, the grand opening of Dot's Diner. Oh, a pit, of course. Is there gonna be a big boulder that's gonna chase me over there and I'm gonna need to be like, oh god, what do I do? No, there's not. Good. Yeah, exactly. It's before all of that. Hop over that wall, I guess. And it looks like there's one enemy over here, so I'm gonna guess this is the end of the level. This is whatever the boss is. Yep. Okay. Sure. Start mission. Start mission. Canic two. The successful repulsion of Optimus's armies has created a gap in his defenses. Press on into maximal territory and secure their ship for a final assault. Inferno. Okay. 
no enemies around here. I'm a big fan of that. See a teleporter over there. There's an enemy. There's a bunch of enemies. Never mind. I can go here, and then here, and then over there? These do sink, right? No, I guess not. Oh. There's platforms I jump along, I see. here and it's gonna... No? Really? Huh. Maybe it'll run at me when I, uh, run off that way. There it goes. out of the way. Good. Um, do I just follow the path back here? I guess so. Boulders don't tend to go two directions, so I'm assuming I'm just safe from it now. I need to wait for a while for that platform to go down and then back up again anyway. Might as well transform. There's a button over there. That's what I want. Um, what's the plan here exactly? Okay, that turns a wall off. That's good. But, uh, oh, I can jump there, I bet. Well, hold on. Let's look at this. What is what is the cycle on these platforms? Is this what I want it to be? It kinda seems like it is. I can just jump back from here, actually. Maybe. Okay, okay. So I turned off a wall, that's good. Now what? Is this platform gonna go anywhere helpful for me? Yet? Yes? Yes. Good. Excellent. <laughs> start moving away already, but I can make that jump, as well as that jump. Right. 
Wait a minute. Oh god, that boulder scared me. I I think it rolls along that way, though. It's not gonna come down here. I think. I sure hope so. Oh god, I was wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> I said it before and I'll say it again. Beast Wars Transformers is a horror game with jump scares. looks like a pit of death. But also there's a collectible right there, so what the heck? I... I don't believe that that's the way to go. But also, this is closed off. So... Where else could I go? I mean, they wouldn't place a collectible like that in an impossible spot. I guess I'll just trust that you can do this? And if I die, I'll just be grouchy at the developers again. Okay. It teleported me here for some reason. For some reason. Okay. <laughs> sure. This is definitely going to start going down with me here. Yeah. Oh, and it even turns like that. Neat, neat. I like neat things. There's nothing over here. It's nothing obvious. Oh. I say that, that might be the way I'm supposed to go. Yeah. ever going to be somewhere I can jump to? Where are you going? You're going way up there. Okay, okay. What about you? Where are you going? Ooh, I can jump to you. Where do you turn around? Right there. And you even wait for me, like a good little platform. Unlike some platforms in other levels. Here, see what's here. Nothing. Neat. Ooh. No! Oh god, I thought it was just gonna wait for me. I'm dumb. I should have watched it. Ah, oh, rats. Oh well. I know roughly where to go at least. Start mission. Start mission. Inferno.
Okay. So first of all, these things. Let's just take those out. There's one more. There it is. Okay. Secondly. God, can I just make that jump? <laughs> What is it you do in the speedrun here? Do you just climb this? You might just climb this. This doesn't seem that hard to climb. Wait, really? I can't? There we go. There's some... There's a jump. Oh, interesting. There's not really a jumpable space there. That surprises me. That's fine, though. I'm sure I'll find... Wait, there's a lava pit here? Oh. Well... I probably should have paid more attention to the geometry. <laughs> that's on me. That's that's a hundred percent on me. So that just, that just goes off to a bad place there. I don't want to go that way. Can I jump around this wall, though, and then jump from here to here? Yes, I totally can. Easy. Uh, I probably am supposed to fight these to get rid of this wall. Boulder's gonna do its thing. And that's fine. I'll pick this up just for fun of it. Oh, you. And also you. And also health. Thank you. Gosh, I... I want to know if I can make this. Yeah, I thought I could. Okay. I know the speedrun does not go anywhere through here. I kind of remember where the speedrun route goes, but I, um, you know, I, I like taking the opportunity to make sure that I am as good with the movement as I would like to be. That I am confident in the jumps I want to be confident in, and that I know where to go and how to play the game normally, in case anything in a speedrun ever goes wrong. How so, J-Ro? Hmm, do I need to do this? Can I just drop down here? I wonder? Gosh, they probably put a death plane here, right? No, they didn't. Let's go. Good. Okay, so we're back here again. Just like that, already back here. I am not on a good cycle with that, but that's fine because I have some things I want to shoot at anyway. Some things that are just a little bit in my way. Oh, come on. Oh well, I'll ignore that then. Okay, this is coming back now.
ever rolled a 6 to decharge? Amazing. How many times did you roll before you got a 6? I assume you eventually got one. 20 times. I see. <laughs> I think it's that platform I want, I just need to wait for it for a little bit. I kinda wanted this to go up there. Fine, I guess. I guess this is all right too. Um. Yeah, I can make that jump. Good. Seventy-five ones. Amazing. shooting at me. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I just keep finding things to fight. I'd really like to stay in beast mode. I'd really like to stay in meatball. Ooh, energon crystal, yes. I saw a pit over here with what looked like a teleporter in it. Yeah. That's how I get up here. Did I just take fall damage landing up here? You'd think so. You would, yeah. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. <laughs> it's a little silly. Those four once in a row, amazing. Okay, Volcanic 3, the Axelon. Maximal forces are in disarray. Enter their headquarters and destroy Optimus.
I'm surprised the odds of getting a quarter of your rolls to one number is that low. <coughs> I don't know. I'm no statistician. 300 just doesn't feel like that many test cases to me. So... I don't know, I'm just surprised. I don't really have a good... Uh, instinct for numbers like that, though. I'm sorry. Is this, like, the freest... Oh, these corners are so short. I can jump right up here. You can jump right up here. Amazing. And I do remember where the skip is here, I'm just not doing it. Oh, and these have a bunch of health. Maybe they always had that much health and I wasn't paying attention before, but that feels like a bunch of health. I know which one that is. Huh. Yeah, that should be right here. Yep. Later. Looks like it's probably going to take me up here. I don't know, maybe it'll have something up here for me. Could be either side, realistically. Oh, yeah, no, land up here. Okay. And that's where that button is. Okay. And this spits me out... Oh, right here. Perfect. This is where I want to go. Already over here? I guess I was. Huh. And then this is the end of the first section, and then we have one more section where we go fight Optimus. Oh. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just wait for another platform, even. <laughs> Same platform, maybe. Is this gonna go in the goo? Yes. I'm glad I checked. Then it comes out. And then I saw a place to wait here. And then does this go in the goo? I don't think so, I think it just waited. Yes, good. Excellent.
and I know what the fast strat is on this, but I don't care. As always, I'd rather just play the level right now. Play it all normal-like. This is a really cool song, too. Wow. Actually... There we go. I want to just get rid of these boxes. Why do these boxes have so much health? What? 322. Very nice, Muzz. Am I... Remembering the numbers wrong, is that exactly 100 more than just the Australian League? I thought just Australia was 222, but... I might be misremembering. Ooh! <laughs> that... That's cool, they hid an enemy in a box. Returned. I hope the food is good, Bill. I see, it just closed the, uh, the force field on this one side. I got it. And then super, super easy final boss. We did it! We beat Beast Wars! Watch this cutscene, it's really good. I'll turn it up even. Victory! Yes! <laughs> Victory! Yes! With the energy and wealth of this planet, I will destroy Cybertron and conquer the galaxy. Amazing. Like, it's a good cutscene, but that animation of Optimus and Rhinox getting blown up in an explosion just puts it really over the top. right back and then I want to look at that one Cheetor level.
This game does have a good soundtrack. No doubt. Start mission. Inferno. So I want to see if there's a faster skip for this level. I, I just want to look around the geometry here, really. Because the thing is, the end of the level is right over this wall. So if we could just get over this. But I just need to bounce myself with the geometry a bit. Because this is already a really short level is the thing. No, this is Cheetor's base. This is already a really short level. I just feel like if we could get over this, it could be even shorter. God, I get so annoyed by the enemies flying around, which is silly because they're not doing anything to me. I just want them to not be here. So I'm just gonna jump around the, uh, the mountains for a little bit, see if I find anything. Yeah, it seems like the spot I want to be jumping on here is not actually jumpable. And I want to jump up there where it looks like it will be jumpable again. <laughs> jump here at all. Okay, okay. No, no, that's getting way too steep. There's no way I could actually climb this. Try jumping from there. The, like, the one polygon here, there. Yeah, and there's not really anywhere to go from there even. Yeah, it kind of does. I can hear that. Oh my god! 
The slipperiness of the ground is so hard to test with. No, that's right, the actual route for the level goes all the way over here, doesn't it? And then goes up and around somewhere here. Where is it? As I recall, once you jump over, it's just like a straight shot over. I think it might be like here? Yeah, this looks right. But this is so far into the level, this is like going across the level and then... And then doing a skip. I really feel like there should be something sooner than that. And then, yeah, it would also help if I don't have a bunch of flashing lights distracting me. Also, again, if I can, the end is right there. Gosh, it's really too bad you just can't interact with enemies in this in a way that affects your movement. Like, you can't jump on enemies, you can't get pushed by enemies. I have my eye on another spot to try to jump to, but it's gonna be another weird one. Okay, so I, even my strafe speed is fast enough that I will, like, promptly fall off if I try using it. Uh, if I jump from there, I get pushed off in such a way that I don't land back on the polygon. Why can't I jump on like any of this? This is so dumb.
jump, okay. Nope. Maybe I just can't jump from this angle. That's kind of what I'm trying. Something like that. Seen, you never seen a giant ant wiggle? Come on, Hopper. I'm just one wiggly ant. It's true. Flick is a handsome lad. Flick is a just god. We love Flick. Maybe I can't do this. That is also appearing to just be slighty terrain. I also feel like I'm just barely missing the polygon I'm aiming for. it interesting that they made the mountains in this level so much harder to climb than any of the other desert levels. <laughs> Including the Maximals Desert Boss. Which I want to say is Scorpinok? So actually, if I could climb this... Ooh. Uh, Addictive Behaviors? There's a bunch of board games in town. Addictive Behaviors is one of the ones that's like right next to the bus station. We walked by it at one point. Uh, there's also Fun Again Games, which is down there. Fun Again is also good. One was 20% again. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, maybe whoever made that die just made a really bad die. It's possible. How did I jump up here before? That's Nope. 
please. Ah, rats. So that's how I got up here. And from there, I just need a big, big old jump and a turn. I'm doing this turn so bad. Okay, now that is where I was trying to go, and I just can't go from there. Seriously? Come on. after playing for four hours. Imagine that. Gosh, I still don't feel like I'm hitting the polygon I want, though. Which is weird. This should not be as difficult to jump as it is. Big fights happening in your grandma's complex? What's happening? There we go, that's where I wanted. Oh, and I can stand here. Can I get out? I can get here, that's close to out. It's out adjacent. I don't think I can, I think. Oh, I don't think I can get on top. I mean, I can probably get up to the, like, wall, but it seems like this is one of those mountains that just kind of, you get up here and then get stuck on the invisible wall at the edge, rather than run around the top of the level. How am I not making this, either? has been pushing in the mirrors on a neighbor's car? What? Wh why? I don't understand... Like, from the get-go. What? Is that a thing annoying neighbors do? Oh, I guess if parking is tight, I, I guess I can see that, yeah. It- what? That... makes no sense. Okay. Yeah, that's- that's a goofy start to the story, but go on. Or is that it? Is it just... Neighbor called the cop on other neighbors, now they're fighting. Yeah, it looks like you just can't get to the top here, really. Uh-oh. Get out. Please. Thank you. Uh-oh. Get up. No, please get up. Good bug. Good wiggly bug. Colonel, 
No! 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 Fuck! I did not want to go down here. Oh. God damn it. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. I basically found what I wanted to find out. I couldn't seem to get anywhere from up there, so... Even if I can make it up there, that's not really much of a start for anything. Um... New line of investigation. Can I land on the backside of this mountain? If I could jump from the tip of this up, that would be good. life in my head and just read just one as just one squish. Oh, I have one more idea, but it's gonna be stupid if it works. sure are people. Okay, so I can't, I can't go like up and along the back, but maybe I can find individual spots to jump to along this mountain to go around this corner. If this works the way I think it might, uh, this may be the new hardest trick in the run. <laughs> Honestly, good commas. I think that's correct. Okay. <laughs> Immediately messed up. As fast as I possibly could. I can't 
jump there. That surprises me. That looks like a really jumpable polygon. Joe! You did it! Well done. Geometry just won't let me. I I can't tell. I don't know. No, wait, stop falling. Oh god damn it, I thought I was right above a, a safe spot. I get being genuinely really angry about that. Everything else is just dumb and petty. trying to hold L1 to tilt the camera down a little bit, and instead I held L2 and walked off. step one in the escalation, I had assumed they would have at least, like, talked about it. Why 
is right around this corner. Anything? Not really, and I can't jump from there. Okay. Okay. Yet again, I think I have a polygon I'm aiming for, but if I can't make it, then oh well. Come on, let me up. Oh. trying anyway. So I want to get the, the one, like, right to my right here. It almost looks like a path up the mountain with that, but it's just not. Sad. Is, is right. Yeah, no, I mean, there's no way. At best, I would be able to jump to places that I can already climb to anyway. Are you serious? How did I even do that? jump across here, that'd be sick, but that's also just not happening. <laughs> like, yeah, that's... I can't even make it all the way to the other mountain. Again on tenth place.
Oh. oh my god, it's much later than I realized. It is nearly 6.30. I should probably be thinking about my own food soon. places that they checked and if you could jump there it would be really easy to skip the whole level. That would be my guess why they don't let you jump there, but it's still frustrating. Oh, this is Cheetor's base. I, I beat the game, I just... I feel like there's a big skip in this level that you could do that I'm trying to make work, but I'm not having much luck. Because the start of the level is right here, and the end of the level is over this hill. <clears throat> the mission of climbing this mountain, yes. And I found that I can climb this hill and get up there, but I can't seem to go anywhere up there helpful. a bunch of spots I can jump on, but just not enough to get all the way over. jump up that. That polygon looks very jumpable. Like, of the two that I'm kind of wedged between, the one on the left. That looks like a polygon I could normally jump up. I'm slowly climbing up this, though. <laughs> That's... that doesn't seem right. This is also close enough to the normal skip that I don't think this would be fast. I don't know, can I, can I just jump from here? I can jump once I'm this high. Where can I jump to? That's the question. Okay, so there's that. There's no way that's fast, though.
Can I get back over here? So I'd kind of like to look at this again. Can I get back over here without just falling in the energon pits and dying? No. Okay. Let's try that again. The left. Predicon. Alternately, let's uh let's try doing an IL and see how this times out. Start mission. Lo Start mission. Inferno. Did I ever use Terror Sword? Yeah, I used him in the flight. Oh, I went too far. Oops. Okay, well, already super not fast because I messed up, but... Are there angles that bump me up faster than others? This is so slow. That's stupid. Time is when the screen goes black. I have no idea what the uh, Start what the mission. time to compare is. That would be Desert Three. The Predacons is 107. I did go a bit out of my way, but. Uh, Yeah, I think I would need to find something faster than that. The left setting on start load. Start mission inferno. I'm gonna take a look again and then maybe give it one more try. Beast Because I definitely lost a lot of time on that just from sloppy movement and. The Cheetor fight wasn't great. Also, real quick, I just want to check the timing and make sure I'm right on this. Yes, okay, my timing was correct. Maybe, maybe I could jump up here and then just... No, that's not even any higher. Yeah, no, 
though, that just slides you down instantly. Yeah, anywhere that I jump is not going to be as good as jumping from right here. And if I try going in any different direction, I slide down instantly. I mean, it's technically a start. Yeah, that's, that's not fast. Okay, wiggling myself is bad. That makes me slide down further. happen. Oh my god, seriously? <laughs> ah. Out of curiosity, can Inferno wiggle up that faster in robot mode than in Beast Mode? I doubt it, just because Inferno's base move speed is so slow. Yeah, this, this isn't happening. I mean, this is a character who flies! Like, come on, Inferno! <laughs> I'd like to be up here so I can investigate these mountains a little bit more. That's what I wanted. That's all I wanted. No, there's there's nothing to investigate from here. I, I can't go anywhere from here. <laughs> I wonder if this bridge is a uh, solid on this side. It's not. Wait. Yes, it is. Never mind. It just looks like it's not. You can get like halfway through.
Start mission. Tarantula. Pretty sure Scorponok is the other one that uh, they can jump high. It's a pretty high jump. I guess question number two is, can Scorponok wiggle up this faster than, than uh, Inferno? I see no reason why the answer would be yes, but I might as well try. Beast mode! No, that seems about the same. Okay. But that's not what I wanted to come back in here and check. I wanted to hop over this wall, which, again, I think it's somewhere around here. It's like right here. Hop over it this way. I want to know, can you just skip this? God, I bet with a really tight jump you could. Mission. Yeah, I I saw that you could play as a character named Terror Sword for a bonus mission, and I did. And the voice line in it was really funny. I forget what he said exactly, I just thought he had a funny voice. Jump to the bridge isn't that slow. Start mission. Inferno. I think I'll give it one more idle attempt. And just... oh wait, hold on. And just, uh... What I get is what I get. I'll submit it as an alternate route. Oh, a little further down. There you go. Right here. And then hard turn this way. And we'll do our best to wiggle our way up. Yeah, it would be nice to know if there was like an optimal angle or something to be doing this. Then we are up, and then we can just go. Big cutscene, really unnecessarily long cutscene. And then another unnecessarily long cutscene. <laughs> yeah, it's like eight seconds slower. Oh well. It was one idea. Start mission. Anyway, I think I'm going to call it here. I was thinking about doing a reboot run just for fun at the end of this, but my hand is really tired. So I will look for someone to raid. And yeah. Yeah. Playing Crash 3, it looks like. 
Good night, everybody.